Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine and I'm back to do another review of CBS's Survivor Season 32, Episode Number 6, Koa Rong, Brains vs. Beauty vs. Brawn. So, it's pretty much self-explanatory as to why Peter went home. He thought that he was slick. Debbie, as wild as she is, as quote-unquote whacked out as people on social media think that she is, she peeped his whole card a long time ago. And she was like, you know what, when they were still in the tribe together, she was like, we need to keep him, you know, because we need somebody strong, but I don't trust him. However, after this whole switcheroo merge, his new tribe's mates were like, listen, we can't trust this dude. Joe was a little iffy with him because of the fact that all of a sudden he started really, really pushing to get Joe out. And then when Joe found out, he went to him and this dude lied to his face. I mean, people in Survivor lie all the time, but you're lying to somebody who was in the FBI. And as Joe said, he was trained to deal with people like Peter or trained to interpret lies, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, but the biggest thing that got me about this episode had to be Aubrey switching and she was worried that if she switched that the repercussions were going to blow back on her and that Joe was no longer going to trust her. And honestly, I think she made a good decision in getting him out because he was going to get out Joe and Aubrey and the others that were on the brain tribe anyway. So to the loop, Peter. Honestly, um, in terms of Nick from the Gondol tribe, I was all here for him when he wanted to make connections with different members of the tribe. However, I feel like he is too smart for his own good. Now, in terms of his little connection with Debbie, a lot of people, especially on social media, as well as other viewers, see Debbie as the cat lady, as eccentric as a little kooky but honestly I think that people are underestimating Debbie in this game and that Debbie is kind of putting up a front a little bit and I feel like as I've said in previous reviews Debbie's going to be in this game for a long time because she's sliding under the radar despite the fact that she mastermind Liz's um, eviction from the island but still nobody put two and two together and you can tell that people are oblivious of this side of Debbie because of what Nick said. Nick was just like, you know what? She thinks I'm cute. She thinks I'm hot, whatever, but she's probably going to try to outsmart me. But he gave us this impression that he doesn't believe she's that smart. And I don't think anybody should do that with anyone in this game because everybody is playing a part in the game and plus debbie's good with puzzles watch out for the puzzle people and i just thought of it another thing that screwed over peter was the fact that after anna was voted out last week julia came back in the game from exile island i'm calling it exile island i'm not sure if they're calling it that um and she jumped in and she just fit right in I mean, the original plan was to get rid of Julia, seeing as she is in a rather large alliance. The only thing was that Peter acted foolish, so they had to get rid of him first. And I do think if I was in this game and I was in that position, I probably would have done what Julia did. Because Julia did all that she could to push Peter right under that bus and let it roll right over him. I also think that it was smart that Julia decided to get the 411 on the tribe and that she sat through that conversation with Peter in the water. But at the same time, she was looking at it like, you know what, if that's who he wants to get out, and I believe he was talking about um, Joe at the time, then as long as it's not me, hey, I'm cool with that. Now, Aubrey, despite being one of the members of the Brain Tribe, um, I should have known in watching the episode that she was going to flip because she really started looking at Peter as a dope and 
said that he was desperate and was a rogue. But then again, that was Peter's fault because he should have just aligned with his original tribes mates and just kept going through the game until he made it to the merge. But unfortunately, things didn't go the way that he planned. And um, originally, Julia was the one that the brain tribe wanted to get out because she was obviously the easy vote. But unfortunately, Peter effed that one up. So Michelle was feeling some type of way because her original alliance mate, Anna, was gone and she felt like she was kind of floating alone so she kind of became palsy wowsy with Debbie and she and Debbie agreed that Jason should be the next person to leave the tribe and honestly it wouldn't bother me if Jason left either way because despite the heroic thing that he did with Sydney, still not feeling him after the whole like Let's go and pick on Alicia thing that he and Scott did. It wasn't cool. Now, Nick pops up out of nowhere and is having a conversation with Michelle and basically comes out and tells her she's on the chopping block. But as my mother always says to me, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So the way that he say it, can't say it, said it came across as condescending. On top of the fact that he was acting like, you know what, Michelle needs to be coddled which is a lie because Michelle comes across as a pretty capable player. She doesn't need to be led like a horse to water. She's good. Honestly, I kind of wanted Nick to be the person to go home tonight. I knew they had to get rid of Peter on a gondole, but if Chan Lo had lost, then I'm more than sure that Nick would have been the person to go home. Um... Joe confronted Peter, and Peter is a really bad liar. Not a good one. Um, but it's crazy how despite that, Joe decided that he and Aubrey and Peter needed to stick together and stick to the plan and get Julia out. But unfortunately, as I said, and as you pretty much figured out, Aubrey crossed out Peter, I mean, Julia, and put Peter down. Okay, so speaking of Joe... Joe got hit in the head during the immunity challenge by some blocks and was bleeding and I was just tweeting like medic like somebody needs to get him dude was like bleeding all down his face but I guess he seemed okay so maybe the wound wasn't as bad as it looked now Aubrey said after the loss that they needed to keep Peter and get rid of Julia and it seemed like she was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and then Julia confronted Aubrey and told Aubrey that Peter wanted her out and Joe basically told her again that he was sticking to the plan and that they should get Julia out which would be a good move unfortunately peter put himself out there and nobody could trust peter so i see why they had to vote him out honestly this season as far as the tribal councils are concerned i'm going to start just sitting back and just watching and try not to speculate as to which tribes member is going home because tonight's episode proved to me that it's best to just chill out and wait and see. Because at one point during the episode, we thought that Joe might possibly go home. Then it seemed like Julia was going to go home because in everybody's eyes, she was the easy target, easy vote. Then it seemed like Peter. Then at the last minute, Aubrey said she wasn't sure, despite the fact that she has no clue where Peter stands or where Peter stood, actually. And then, even though everybody was answering Jeff Probe's questions, it was still up in the air. I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's down to Peter or Julia, but still, I had no idea who was going home. I'm sure many of you guys were just like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And then, all of a sudden, Scott says to Julia, let's do the original plan. And then everybody's kind of looking like, what's the original plan? And Jeff Probst is just like, what's the original plan? And people on Twitter ask the same question. And I'm like, did I miss something? 
And then when it came down to the vote and we were privy to seeing, you know, Peter vote for Julia and this one vote for Peter. And then when it came down to Aubrey, Aubrey wrote down Julia's name, but she lingered and she stared at the paper. And I'm like, okay, well then who is Aubrey going to vote for? And then once Jeff Probst read the votes and it came down to two for Julia and four for Peter, and one of the votes had the name Julia written with a line through it and then Peter, and I was like, and that vote belonged to Aubrey. So Aubrey flipped, Peter went home, Peter was surprised, and next week's a merge. So that's about it, guys. I'm Sage Valentine. Don't forget to rate this video, leave me your comments, let me know who you think is going to win this season, who you're rooting for, and what you think of this episode and the season so far. I love you guys. Take care. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>